Is the ice kind of your oasis? Uh, there's so much attention on you, so much focus on you. Is it nice to just get out in the ice and play hockey? Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of your, your free space. No one can really bother you. I mean, um, but uh, you know, that's that's what you love doing. And um, you know, that's uh, yeah. the extra attention on the ice. Is it, is it tough to break through sometimes? Yeah, sometimes I guess, but uh, you know, you kind of get used to it. And, um, you know, if they want to pay, uh, pay special attention to me, then you know, you're guys are strong to bring guys and that teeth and all the you know, guys who, uh, who can break through you know, just as easily. So um, you know, they kind of got to take their, their pick and who they want to cover, and uh, that's the beauty of uh, you know, playing on a team like this. I know last year with uh, Aaron Eckblad, the talk was more about him finishing off his career in the OHL on top. Uh, is that sort of your men uh, mentality heading into the playoffs as well? I think so. Number one. I think so. I think a lot of. I think uh, that's kind of one, how you want to leave it. And, um, you know, whether this is you know my last year in the OHL or not, I don't think uh, you know, anyone would want to win. Is, you, know, you don't uh, usually get chances like this. And, um, you know, we've been fortunate enough to, to have back to back years like this, and, and you know, have a, have another shot at it. And, Come so close last year. It's hard to, to, to you know, see that one go by, but um, you know, chances like this don't roll around you know, again. So, um, no, we've been fortunate enough to be given a second chance. Or, um, for the guys that were in there last year, I think uh, you know everyone's got a little bit of taste in their mouth. And then for the new guys, I think uh, you know they're just as eager. <laughs>